I knew BJ had food allergies, but I never knew it would take his life. You know, we had planned a special vacation on July 1st, 2008 to basically celebrate my oldest son, BJ, turning 18 and graduating from high school. We were all excited to fly down to Cabo for the first time to be in Mexico to celebrate this great occasion. So we flew from San Francisco and landed in Cabo around 7 and got to the resort at 8. We ate at the restaurant. Everything seemed fine. There was, it was pretty uneventful. We ate, and you know, we noticed that it was still light out. So I said, let's go take a look at the beach, and let's go look at the swimming pool. So we started walking around after dinner, and everything seemed fine. And then my oldest son, BJ, he, he came to me, and he said, uh, Dad, my throat hurts. You know, can you buy me some cough drops? Basically, after I gave BJ the cough drops, he went off with my wife, and I took the two other kids to the arcade. And then, all of a sudden, some lady runs into the arcade and says, Sir, you need to go to the lobby. Your son has fallen ill. And all through my mind, I was thinking, what happened now? You know, I gave him the cough drops. And I ran over there, and what I saw was BJ's lips were blue, he was completely pale, and he was gasping for air. When we, we called for help, the first people to arrive was just the, the staff at the hotel. They tried to give mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and to try to do CPR. You know, I asked for where the doctor was, and they told me that he had left for the day because it was already 9 o'clock and the doctor leaves at 5 but he would be on his way. And I said, what about an ambulance? And it seemed like it was forever before that ambulance could, could come to help my son. There was no sign of any food allergy. My first thought was he was choking on the cough drops. Or I had no idea, but I finally thought to ask management at the, at the resort what was in the food and the manager checked with the resort chef and found out that there were traces of peanut in the mousse dessert, the chocolate mousse. When the doctor arrived, I asked the doctor, I said, how's my son? I said, the, the, the staff is telling me that he's breathing on his own. So he took a look at my son and he, he took a pulse and then he turned to me and he basically just said, sorry and then he covered my son with the blanket, covered his head with the blanket. Definitely no one th ever thinks about burying their own children. It's the most heartbreaking thing, and you have to live with it, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis for the rest of your life. But my goal is to help raise awareness to people so they don't have to suffer a loss like my family has. What I learned from losing my son BJ was that you need to have a food allergy action plan. You need to carry an epinephrine auto injector at all times. You need to know where the emergency room is and how to get your child there as soon as possible because every second counts. When you go out to eat, you need to talk to the chef and you need to find out what's in the food and also talk to them about possible cross-contamination. When you go on vacation, you can never take a vacation from food allergies. You have to be vigilant. You always have to be prepared and be on guard for a food allergy reaction to occur. An anaphylactic reaction can occur at any time. Please share this message with your community. It could help save someone's life. If you have been diagnosed with a food allergy, avoid your allergens, even if you have not had a reaction in a long time. Know and avoid your allergen triggers and have a plan so that you and others know what to do in an anaphylactic emergency. Epinephrine is the medication of choice for controlling a severe allergic reaction. Remember, when you have an anaphylactic reaction, use your prescribed epinephrine auto-injector as directed and immediately seek medical care.